Welcome to the UnityWise video tutorials. At this one, we will implement full steps in game. First, we create full steps event in Wise, then bring it to the Unity. Create two random containers under Actor Mixer Hierarchy's default work unit. Name them for grass and gravel and import full steps clip inside these containers. After filling the random containers, create a switch container as a parent for both. If you want to watch how did I recorded these full steps, you can check my other video series by the link. Switch container looks for a switch group. Let's create that. Go under the Game Syncs tab, right click the work unit under switch and create new switch group. And two switches inside that group. Then go back to the switch container and choose that switch group we created. You can leave it like that, but adding some randomization puts some spice on it. You can mess with volume and pitch randomizer as you want it. The switch container is done. Create an event, attach that switch container to that and assign that to the master blank. One more thing I want to mention. As you can see the size will increase a lot in time because we are not compressing wave files and it might not be necessary to use them in raw form all the time. To decrease that size, go to the Share Sets tab and find Default Conversion Settings. In the Windows, you can change the format of file to the something compact like Vorbis. Converting these files to the Vorbis will decrease the size drastically. You can see that by comparing data size and decoded size. Unity already recognized the project change, but we still need to generate sound banks. Now we can start implementing full steps. Find the run or walk animation of the character. Open that animation and you can see a preview of that bottom right side. We will add events on that clip by deciding the frame and create a function. A crucial thing. This function name should be the same when we create it inside the script. I created another script for this purpose. It's good to detach functionalities into groups. Create a reference in the player script, which is the main one for the character. And create the function with the same name as the event we decided on the animation group. Seems 
exact the function work so we can start putting footsteps on it. Open the player sound script and create a function and event for footsteps. Inside the function, just post the event. Now we need to attach that player sound script in the character, but not the main prefab. Create a child game object and put that script on it. Then go for the main prefab and drag drop the game object we created on the script's player sound variable. By that we can reach that script inside the main one. Finally, we can start working on Swift. It has two ways to do that and I'll show you both. Call aksoundengine.setSwitch function. Before going further, let's have a look at that function. This function has two versions, one accept unsigned integer value of switch groups, other one accepts string versions. It will be hard to scrap integer ID of switch groups since we know the name of it. We can call it by the string values. So finish the function like this. Okay, grass walk sounds are definitely here, but they're a bit long to use. Let's shorten them a bit. We can either use a doll or I'll show you another trick. In project, go to footsteps grass random container and click effects tab. Override parent and add an effect called wise time stretch. As the name says, it stretches the length. Tweak the values and find a good spot for the clips. Generate the sound bank and save the project. It sounds better right now, but it doesn't change by the ground we are stepping. Let's fix this. We need to know what we are stepping. There are many ways to solve this problem and I'll only show you one. If we can reach the material we are stepping, we can change the sound by its name. I'll use Raycast for that. It basically draws a ray to the ground and grabs the material that hits first. I don't have an extended naming scheme for materials, so I'll just check if the material's name has grass inside or not.
to use second way, create two variables of AKY switch for gravel and grass. Instead of calling AK sound engine, just call the switch and set value to the game object. Alright, that's it for today. I hope I made it clear the steps of doing this. I prefer first method instead of second one. Also, instead of raycasting, you can create collision blocks for feet. You can brainstorm for more. Thanks for joining me. Till the next time, have a good day.